Good eye, everyone. It's your favorite weasel here, and I'm going to thank you all for giving this channel the support you have. As such, I've decided to make this short video before I get bigger and better things done for it. This time, we're talking about the root of all evil, the source of all discord, the pinnacle of every fandom's greatest battles. I am, of course, talking about shipping. Now, funny enough, I've managed to be excluded from the many pairings both real and imagined my entire run. So, I consider myself wholly qualified to be discussing why Mobius' number one mercenary has kept himself a lifelong bachelor. Now, let's get started on measuring Mobius' lean lady, shall we? Can't say I agree with this one at all. One, this fetishy fruit bat's been horning in on my treasure hunting jobs for a while now. Second, I take my rivalry seriously. Dating one just means to having to share the wealth later, so what's the bloody point there? Besides, she's clearly got a thing for Chuckles the Echidna. Poor taste if you ask me, considering what a simpleton he is. That must be that thing they say about him down under, if you know what I mean. Plus, I'm not exactly a fan of the feds, and that includes government tools like her. So let's move on to the next one. Not gonna lie, this girl's got style, and I hear she's quite flexible, I appreciate that. Not sure what's going on between her and my sis, but I could get behind this one, if not for other than Nick, her standards are bloody awful. What with that on and off relationship she got with a spinach colored hedgehog who thinks a veterinarian is his worst enemy. Seriously though, you could do better. Call me sometime, I'll show you what you're missing out on. Just don't expect me to give you any cuts of my bounties though. Right, moving on. Absolutely not. And don't let that calm and composed royalty act fool you. That cat is a freak. And with a temper that only the truly suicidal, or I suppose fireproof, would be crazy enough to expose themselves to. Also, I ride in an air bike, which gets me pretty high above the ground sometimes, and I got no patience for someone who doesn't share that thrill. So let's carry on. This one's got a bit of style too, and I can appreciate a little mechanical ingenuity and actual competence, and a love for high-tech aircrafts, so she'd be good to have around for my marvelous queen. Can't say the same for those bird brains she hangs out with, though. But apparently Bean knows him and it wouldn't surprise me if he fancies her a bit. Tell you what, Wave. You ever get tired of him, call me. I'll set you two up and maybe Bean can find something more productive to spend his time on between jobs. <laughs> oh, make no mistake. I took my best shot when it came to her. You could say I really knocked her off her feet. I also hear her career as an idol really soared, despite the impact I know I left on her. Maybe next time I'll leave a more lasting impression. Right, here we go. The big one. Aside from the fact she's just a kid, she's too busy being fixated on Sonic, who from the looks of it doesn't exactly fancy her back, and I don't blame him. I mean, crikey! Can you imagine what it'd be like having that thirsty pink migraine wrapped around your arm when you're trying to get a job done? At least Blaze can put on an act of being remotely civil, and don't even get me started on the stuff she does with that hammer! So call it a hard pass for me, and Sonic can keep suffering for it. <laughs> so, all in all, this weasel's already got a marvelous queen in his life who's never let him down, and there's no letting her go. So you don't get more OTP than that when it comes to me. Like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you fancy, and see us all next time.